let's move on to the most pressing news of the day something that i'm sure most of you guys have seen being all over the flipping subreddit has been this revelation out of the blue so obviously bgl's going through what he's going through in terms of the domestic violence um accusations obviously egregious obviously horrible all that non-disclaimer stuff you're meant to say to act like you care but you don't actually care because clearly those two people are extremely toxic and they've probably driven each other to varying points of physical abuse and they probably deserve each other and we really shouldn't care it is what it is but in the process of all that sort of stuff bgl still has a bee in his bonnet about Brendan. He still despises that man really, really hard, right? He hates him. He fucking hates that guy, which is funny because at one time they were really close and they were really friends and now it's gone to complete shit. So even though BGL's been cancelled, right? He's, he's, his video is going fucking viral. It's going viral. And when I say viral, I mean viral with a capital fucking V. It's getting millions of views, millions of views on places like Twitter and stuff. There's a clip, I think, at the moment um, from that account called uh, Fight Haven that's got like a million views on it. Like insane. I'm actually going to get it up now in a moment. Let me just get it up. I'll show you what I mean. Uh, He's in front of my car. He's <laughs> you hear him? He's in front of my car. He's attacking me. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, you see, <laughs> uh, he's attacking me. <laughs> oh, she screams and then she, he pans the camera across, and it's just a wing mirror. I thought he punched the whole flipping front window, the side or something, put a dent in the car. It's just a wing mirror has gone a bit wonky, like so dramatic. <gasps> oh. <laughs> But let me show you the video. Let me show you the video quickly. <laughs> Him deadlifting the car is fucking impressive, though, to be fair. Bare hands, no chalk, no wraps, no gloves. Just... But yeah, look at this video, right? Look at this video from Fight Haven. I'll get up on that. Bear with me a second. 1.4 million views. It's gone viral all over the public freakout subreddit, right? People are going crazy over this stuff. Like, he's there, front and center. You see him looking, BGL there, lurking, right? Like fucking Jaws. But still, in the midst of everything he's going through, he's being publicly canceled and ripped to pieces because he's a fucking domestic abuser, right? It's a horrible stain. No man wants on their jacket. It's up there with rape and all that sort of stuff, right? It's absolutely insane. And But in the midst of all that stuff, in the midst of all that stuff, the guy hates Brendan so much that he's willing to put out this. A whole bevy of screenshots taken from his iMessage of Brendan allegedly DMing him, you no, know, sending him messages on, on flipping iMessage uh, about baddies. <laughs> like they obviously coordinate with each other or something. Like this is absolutely crazy. So I grabbed all the screenshots because he uploaded them onto flipping Reddit underneath another account, which isn't his. So he's, he's no, again, in the midst of all this drama, he's been cancelled. He's been flipping written off. He's up there on Reddit flipping under a flipping dummy account, uploading all these fucking screenshots. Really, really insane. And if you scroll, I think the, I think the bottom one's the first one. But let's just scroll down to the bottom and read these because these are really egregious and really, really funny and just kind of represent what's everything wrong with these guys, right? Because imagine, because I didn't know this was a thing. So imagine going to this sort of like extent, like I don't get it because if that, if you're like a playboy type of person and you're on the road and you, and you have a wandering eye or your dick gets hard every time the wind blows, just, I don't know, indulge yourself when you're there. Like whenever you go on the road somewhere, I don't know, dabble in some you know in some girls at work at the comedy club maybe a couple of fans here and there i don't know but but does it really require you having to like investigate what the baddies are saying online and use basically from what it looks like here bgl was kind of like the front guy he'd be the guy that would maybe be managing the instagram account or maybe he'd be dming them for his own account or for a dummy account and then brendan will be contacting him via iMessage so not to leave any paper trail so that if some girl tries to expose whoever it is, the screenshot won't show him. So it won't be that embarrassing. So it's kind of like a way to kind of, you know, uh, <laughs> to kind of put yourself out there, obviously. BGO being the piece of shit that he is, is exposing all of it. So he took a, he took a screenshot of all these iMessages and basically did a search of the word baddie. Because I guess this is Brendan's code word for saying, where are the whores, right? In the same way that he was asking for addies, for the drugs, baddies is basically whores. So you got Texas here from from recently, from last year, flipping. <laughs> from last year. From 
came last year October asking she's a baddie another one baddie question mark another one any DMs for the baddies from the baddies Texas from the DMs from Texas baddies no Texas baddies but here's a semi baddie from Boston baddie what did you baddie say about her to my friends tomorrow any DMs ba any DMs Monica and the stripper friend has no baddies <laughs> baddie didn't DM Baddies respond. Baddie DM. <laughs> no DMs from Baddie. No DMs from Baddie. DMs no Boston DMs. Baddie. Baddie didn't respond to her. Please tell me that Baddie would ask DM me. Any DMs from Baddies. Any DMs from that if, if dude still go doing if his likes. What? Any DMs in what? Any Baddies in DMs? Is that if dude still doing the, his likes? Oh, she was a Baddie. She's a Baddie. The did baddie respond here's there's a baddie who dm me and responded back please let me know baddie respond she's a baddie too dm that baddie and say dinner would be great <laughs> but i got my kiddo tonight oh my god brendan this is some down bad shit man this is some this is not beast of a dad business beast of a dads don't do shit like this oh that's gross isn't it DM that baddie and say dinner would be great. I got my kiddo tonight though. <laughs> Daddy, where are you going? Daddy's gonna go buy some cigarettes. But you don't smoke. Shut up. <laughs> Daddy, papa, 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 papa. Imagine, because maybe the kids call him papa. Papa, where are you going, papa? Papa, don't this? No, no. They speak Spanish, right? So, how do you say don't? How do you say? How do you say where are you going in Spanish? It's not donde estás, right? What do you say in Spanish? How do you say where are you going? <laughs> Papa. <laughs> Holy shit! Imagine these kids talking to him in Spanish, asking him where he's going, and he has to make a lie up on the spot. On the spot. <laughs> Holy shit! Oh, what's this? Okay, donde us donde usta ustedes? The donde tu papa? <laughs> Holy shit! Yo, can you imagine how how down bad of a dad you have to be to involve your kids in your fucking cheating? Like using your kids as as lies, like <laughs> donde vas, papa? Donde vas, papa? Oh, mate, honestly, just imagine. You have to involve them and say what? Like, don't tell your mom. Um, I don't know. I'm over here. Relax. Chill out. Take it easy. Oof. 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 This is crazy, bro. Because, again, I understand. What excuse do you have to make up to say dinner is great, but you have to got the kiddo tonight? If you got the kiddo tonight, who, who's going to be looking after the kiddo? Does that mean he left the kiddos by themselves? Like, did he just take a chance say, fuck it? I'll go and bust one out quickly. Like, I'm about to burst, right? I just go bust one out quickly and come back. But the guy doesn't wash his hands when he pisses, so do you think he washes his hands when he thugs? Probably not. Damn. Damn, man. Damn. Addies and baddies. Yeah, addies and baddies. <laughs> that's a good... That's a good... <laughs> that's a good... That's a good name for a club night or something. Addies and baddies. Oh. <laughs> Baddie didn't see new DMs. So what do you think is happening here, guys, in the chat? What do you think is happening? Do you think BGL is using Brendan's account and DMing girls? Or like, or do you think the girls are DMing BGL and he's showing Brendan the text? Like, how's this changed? This is a weird conversation because they're having this through iMessage. So what's happening here? What kind of cheating is this? This requires too much effort in my head. I was like, what are you doing? Is it is it like a is it like a dummy? Because because Brendan always says he doesn't manage his social media, right? And he's he's a social media manager, so maybe B BGO is using Brendan's account and posting clips up, posting up flyers, and then um, whoever because you know these comedians fucking go through their likes, you know the Crystalia stuff. I think all comedians do that. They go for their likes. If a cute girl likes it, because usually they've all got male fans anyway. So if they see a woman that's got something between her legs and looks somewhat decent, they're going to obviously go for it. And then they'll DM straight away or they double tap on it to respond or like or something, some weird shit like that, right? Some weird creepy shit. And then they kind of get in contact that way. So maybe that's what they're doing. Maybe PGO is using Brennan's account as a social media manager and then DMing the girls and then showing Brennan the screenshots. <sighs> 
crazy. Yeah, B- BGL's a human burner phone, exactly. BGL, um, no, sorry, another one. Is Baddy named Chloe? It was in my hidden messages. Same with Young Baddy. There's Young Baddy. <laughs> oh. Considering what Chris has been accused of, having somebody called Young Baddy is probably not the right thing to go about. Young Baddy. Is Baddy named Chloe? She's a Baddy. DM that long hair Baddy for me and say, funny story. You can't even spell. If you're going to cheat, at least spell, right? At least spell properly. <laughs> Font story for you on my show, King. What? This guy's game is awful. He's pulling baddies by telling them to go and check out clips of King and the Sting. These, these, girls, these girls in the comedy community who like comedians, I, I feel bad for you, man. The options are horrible. Either you have guys like, Chris Leo around who just invited to a hotel don't even offer you a drink and just shove your head into a pillow and do what they want to do and then you have people like this who are DMing you and telling you to go watch their podcast <laughs> the options are terrible terrible options god almighty man the options are terrible for you um for you comedic whores out there right you what do you call them what's a groupie for a comedian then are they called a, are they called chuckle bunnies? Is that what they called chuckle bunnies or some shit? You chuckle bunnies are like you got no options, man. Your options are so weak. God damn! I, I pray for you, you gals out there. Um, more conversation. Any other baddies? She's a baddie. Oh, it's called chuckle fucker. Okay, what I say? What I say? Chuckle whatever. I don't know what I said. Um, she's a baddie. Crystal G a baddie. <laughs> Who? Rachel Harnett. Little freshwater baddies, they're mean. I guess you say I'm into fish. Huh? Oh, that's that's his DMs. Who's Rachel? Oh, maybe that's maybe that's his own. That's hilarious. He he slipped in one of his own messages accidentally. <laughs> the rage was too much. He couldn't even double check the DMs. Um, two baddies though. Love Texas. What you doing out there, little baddie? Yo, what's cause he mentions Texas a lot. Are there a lot of hot girls in Texas for them guys in America? I'm seeing a lot of mentions of Texas. I know it's his best market also, but are the are the girls in Texas hot? Is that like a good place to find hot hot women? People say. I guess if you like white girls, isn't it? You're probably gonna find a lot of those like really cute, um, wholesome ladies. Oh, who's that lady that the country singer with a massive bum that went viral? Is she from Texas? She is, right? That what's her name? I think she was on Fear Vaughn show recently. She's got a huge bum and she was on Yellowstone. Um she's got a really nice voice as well. She's super good. But the bum, wee! But yeah, there's a lot of Texas. I, I, I think Texas is like his Atlanta for black guys, isn't it? Right? <laughs> like Atlanta or like whatever place people go to, the black people like that say a lot of hot girls are at. Um, oh, is it New Orleans? I don't know. There's some other place they go to. Uh, Texas is bigger than the UK. Of course, they have some baddies. Yeah, but come on. You're going on as if just because the place is bigger, they're going to have more hot girls. Come on, Marty Moose. Come on. Let's be fair. Okay, she's from, okay, yeah, she's from Nashville. Yeah, cool, 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 cool. But yeah, Texas is probably the prime spot. Say what's up, little baddie. Just landed. One more flight, but see pics that Canada baddie. Jesus. Oh, Brendan, man. Only Brendan. Only Brendan. The fucking redact. This is why we laugh at the guy. The fucking redact. You've known BGL for a year. Two years tops. He's not your friend. He's somebody that's a friend of... I don't know. Sorry. He was Chappelle's friend, right? Then he got brought into the Fire and the Kid universe. And then he became more so, you know, a friend of theirs through time. At first, I'd imagine Brendan probably didn't like him too much because he worked out and looked good. Because, you know, Brendan has these weird complexes. He doesn't know the guy too much. He brings him into his inner circle and starts to have him as a complicit person that he can cheat on with. And then, instead of keeping him sweet, he pisses him off. And now that same guy who you brought into your circle only after two years is now exposing all your flipping secrets. The guy is dumb as bricks. Brendan's the dumbest guy that's ever existed. Ever existed in the history of the world. Who would bring in somebody like this, right? To flip in, um, in your inner circle of cheating, if this is how you move, especially knowing how temperamental and unstable they are. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Because BJ was always like this. I think people were calling this out from the minute go. Like this guy's going to be, and again, credit to the Final Kid subreddit guys because they said this early and I didn't buy it because again, I was kind of saying, even though I didn't like BGL, I kind of liked that he was really friends with Frippin' Brendan. I really liked it, right? 
um, I like that he was actually defending Brendan because Brendan needed a, that kind of friend, the kind of guy that was going to go fire back at the trolls, get in the comments on Reddit and stuff. That was quite good. I kind of like, even though I don't like the guy, I kind of like that. But my God, my God. Why would you welcome me that? Because Marty Moose, did you see Mexican's picture you posted? Yeah, yeah, I saw it. Yeah. Yes, she's here. Very good. Yes. I don't, to be fair, I don't really like talking about her too much. I think I mentioned a, a, a post on Valentine's Day or something, but I like to keep the wives and the family members out of this. It's not really fair, I think, to get them involved in this sort of stuff. BGO and Brendan, all these type of guys, you know, they're, they're enough content. They're, they're content um generators themselves right brian can all these guys are doing enough you don't need to get their wives and girlfriends involved and shit or their kids and stuff i think that's lame so i kind of stay off that and i kind of keep it sweet but yeah i did see the post martin moose absolutely crazy man um yeah but yeah you know i don't know i don't know what to say about this but yeah brendan's the dumbest guy that ever existed just landed one more flight but see pics of the canada baddie nothing from baddies god almighty canada baddie never responded she's a baddie she's such a baddie baddie yeah she's a baddie baddie so yeah so i guess um hey big up john valdez you said other day that bgl had more ammo in the chamber you were right i still think terry's more too you remember yes big up john valdez you remember yeah i did say that um it was obvious from minute minute zero uh because only because I knew, only because we learned about why he was pissed off. <clears throat> Remember, we learned that he was pissed off because of money. And I was saying myself, like, I've done some pretty wild shit when I didn't get paid. Like one, especially one previous company I worked at, I went scorched earth. Like I was, you know what I mean, I was making videos and shit. I was calling up places. Um, I, I went to a press conference where the guy was talking and, and basically got kicked out and shit. Like I went crazy and I wasn't owed anything as much as much money as um, BGL was owed. So if that's the case and I know how wild I went, I can only imagine how insane I'd go if I was owed 15,000 and some shit. Then on top of that, like I said previously, my suspicion has always been that when BGL got close to Brendan and realized how much of an idiot he was, not like bad way, but like, you know, how legitimately dumb he is, but he's still like a multimillionaire. I think it made him hate the guy. I think he came in liking him and then he got close and thought, fuck, like I'm a 40 year old failed actor. Like I've not made it yet. I'm still struggling, still trying to go to auditions, still trying to make it work. I had to reinvent myself into this BGL, you know, Mufasa type figure guy to try and make it and try and revive my career. And here you are, a guy that's probably got a double digit IQ. You can't speak English, even though it's your first language and you're a multimillionaire. I think it legitimately pissed him off to the point where he was a real undercover silent hater, which is probably worse than anything else. Like, at least us, we laugh at the guy to his face. The guys who are pretending to be his friends, they're probably the worst ones. And he pretended to be his friend. He got into his good graces, got really close to him to the point where Brendan trusted him to cheat together with him. And now look what's happened. They're both terrible, right? He's terrible for leaking this sort of shit. And, and again, I was not a fan of this, even from the beginning. I didn't like, even though it was good catnip and it was good flipping, you know, orange chicken for us, whatever it may be. I still didn't like the fact that he was leaking all these personal things because it's a dispute over work. If it's a dispute over work, you can allude to some things, whatever it may be. But interviewing with Red Bar, when you know what Red Bar said about Brendan, going on those shows that take the piss out of him. If you were, Again, if you're a former friend, all those things are terrible to do as a former friend. I think so. You cannot fuck with somebody. You can maybe say, hey, I want to meet up and, you know, have a fair one fight and shit and get your kind of licks off that way. But going on your, your former friends, enemies, platforms and shit, it's just some bitch boy maneuvers in my opinion no matter how you feel like like you should have some level of decorum and some level of self-respect and dignity but again clout is a dangerous drug in it um there were some baddies let me know if those dms catch a hoe oh what dms catch a hoe <laughs> so just such a weird arrangement honestly so bgo is what on brendan's account taking screenshots of the girls and what they look like sending them to brendan via iMessage yes big up richie appreciate you man have to top off the beer and get fun <laughs> to another good weekend please show up to work though let's go addies and buddies <laughs> big up richie please show us big up richie i pre richie 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 how you pronounce it big up you i appreciate you for the 13 dollars 23 brother thank you so much i will show up for work you know what i'm gonna do actually now you said that i'm gonna schedule a stream for um for friday 
or something like that. I'm going to schedule a stream for Friday of the random show. And then we're going to see <laughs> what state I'm in. What state I'm in. Because I cannot, I cannot confirm or deny that there may be some baggies or baddies or there may be i don't not baddies there may be some baggies lying around somewhere around here i cannot confirm or deny this so let's see when i schedule something <laughs> on friday let's see if i turn up but thank you so much richie i appreciate you brother thank you for that but um oh my god man this is so terrible this is so terrible man this is so embarrassing think about this bjo is fighting for his life right He's been accused of domestic violence. He's up there being accused of rape and shit. That's a really damaging thing to have on your jacket. It never goes. No one's going to ever want to be associated with him anymore. BJ was already a failed actor anyway, right? Let's just call a spade a spade. He was trying to be a social media manager for Brendan Shaw by the age of 40. He reinvented himself into this beastly figure that he looks like to try and revive his career. It didn't work out. It's not a bad thing. It just is the way Hollywood is. It's kind of brutal, kind of cutthroat. He tried to reinvent himself as being this meme, work lift, you know, workout type of dude thing. He's probably doing personal training or something. I don't know what he's doing now for money. Who knows? Who gives a shit? But in terms of entertainment career, it's already gone. It's already bad. It's gone. But in the midst of him being bombarded, right? He's being, he's getting blocked. He's, he's up against the cage. He's getting fucking smacked left, right, and center. He's opening up his, you know, he's opening up his guard. He's getting hit in the face. He's getting punched in the stomach. He's trying to cover his body, clocked in the face. He's getting kneed in the face, elbows. Like he's trying to cover. He's getting absolutely smashed. In the midst of it, he just boop, lobs a fucking grenade. <laughs> of it he's absolutely getting flummo he's getting banged all over the place and he just lobs a grenade over and tries to ruin brendan's life holy shit <laughs> what a piece of shit what a horrible horrible friend what a horrible horrible friend <laughs> oh my god i can't get by how horrible this is he's legitimately insane You'd think he'd be trying to rescue his own reputation and try and prove that he's not a domestic abuser and there's some com context to the videos and whatnot. Nah, no, 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 no. If I'm going down, you're going down with me. Pure kamikaze style. Pure kamikaze style. Shit. Baddy, any baddy DMs? Baddy, any baddy DMs? That baddy with a fatty ass, Jesus. I know guys, you know, in the quote-unquote locker room, we have our lingo. But I swear, my I swear on my life. I swear on everything that I that I hold sacred. I've never in my life used the term "baddie" <laughs> unironically, and I've never used the term "fatty" or "fatty ass," let alone somebody that's forty years old with two kids and a wife. The levels of cringe, baddie with a fatty ass. Excuse me. <laughs> But I also think he got around, he got around BGO and because BGO tries to like act like he's like, you know, he's chill, he's cool. BGO, BGO tries to act like he's one of those, you know, the type of white guys that's, that act like, you know, he maybe dated a black girl once, right? You know, that kind of vibe. He's got that kind of thing about him, right? Even though he went to the fucking, what? The San Francisco School of, School of Comedy. I don't think many black people go to those kind of places, right? But he's got that kind of vibe about him. So I think when Brendan gets around BGO, that's like his black friend. So he basically tries to talk like him as well. Yeah, you know, yeah, dude, uh, uh, you know, down. Um, we're going to get lit tonight, right? Uh, uh, we're going to get faded. Oh, my God, I'm so geeked. You know, that sort of nonsense, right? That kind of faux surfer chill, you know, San Fran, you know, Rastafarian, Wigger type talk, like baddie with a fatty. Such a baddie. Baddie respond with more pics? Baddie hasn't seen the last DM, but when she does, <laughs> send her dick pic. Can't wait for that baddie to respond to do. We send cell numbers. She's not called. What? Can't wait for that baddie to respond. Do send. Do we send cell number? So she's not cow. He's thirsty. <laughs> Imagine being thirsty in the DMs. Now imagine being thirsty in the SMSs to your friends about a DM. Like, that is, that is like first, isn't it? He's hungry here. Did Baddy see DM just for a text from a random number? He's first. Website 2 MMA Baddies fighting this set. 
<laughs> the baddie little Mexican is that old? Is she coming to Boston? Oh, he's he's cheating on a Mexican or another Mexican. Damn, dude. But you know what? Am I the only person that thinks this ain't gonna do anything? I've got a feeling the Mex the Mexican ain't going anywhere. She's she's one of those right. She, she's gonna be one of those not not right or dies, but you know those ladies that just don't care. They kind of have a freak out. She's probably gonna get her you know her yearly all expenses paid trip to Las Vegas, which always happens. Again, so, I, so weird, isn't it? Again, I don't like to show them, but this is a little tidbit. So the subreddit guys have recognized a pattern that seems to happen. Whenever Brendan is in a doghouse or he gets accused of something um, when it comes to cheating or whatever it may be, or maybe he's liked too many pictures or he's got some creepy DM or he's got some DMs he shouldn't be having, a common thing happens where suddenly he's looking after the kids. He's not touring that weekend. And then the wife goes to Vegas with her friends and she gets all dolled up. Um, she takes pictures by the pool, pictures getting ready, you know, like, like, um, like hot girl shit, right? Like, like hot girl shit. And she goes out there and has a blast. And then sometimes we'll take pictures of some flowers she received from some random person. Like, oh, thank you for the flowers from the, the larger hotel or whatnot. But usually it's like an all expense paid trip. So it's a very strange arrangement like they have because in one way, you would imagine her getting this all expenses paid trip to go to flipping Las Vegas to have some girl time is is a weird acknowledgement of like, I understand you're cheating, but I'm, up, I'm upset you're cheating, but I'm also not upset enough to leave, but I also need to get my get back. You know, it's a really strange arrangement because you imagine in that rich scenario, if that's the case, why not just have an open relationship? Why don't you just be open and say, okay, I can't get, I can't get annoyed because I know you do what you're doing, but also I'm expecting you to kind of, you know, because I'm looking after the kids and you're on the road, you know, smashing everything that walks. When you come back, I need to have my own time too to feel cute, to have some young bus boy, you know, uh, flirt at me and get a bit thirsty and want to smell my underwear. Let me have my time as well, and then I come back home, have a vibe. Because I got, I got a feeling this isn't going to be like a make or break. She's going to stay there. She's not going anywhere. Um, you would imagine, you know what I mean? Like, you know, not, 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 you know, not to be a uh, what do you think called? Not to be stereotypical, but. You would imagine Latina women, especially one with two kids and maybe one on the way, it's not really a thing they're going to want to have a divorce. And again, if she's, if she's super Catholic too, coming from that community, it's just not likely that she's going to uh, want to uh, divorce. But bloody hell, man. Imagine holding down the fort back at home, um, looking after the kids who, you know, whatever they're doing and shit. And then you're just, the guys is out there doing what he will. Honestly, the, the women in stand-up comedy, and they're going to tell guys, oh, you're sounding like a fucking cuck. No, just an observation. Don't call me names. Just an observation. The women in stand-up comedy have to put up with a lot, man. It's like the women in entertainment in general. The women of, the wives and, sorry, the wives and girlfriends of basketball players, of musicians, of rappers and shit, of stand-up comics. Like, they have to put up with a lot, bro. They have to put up with a lot. Especially stand-up comedians. Because they hate being at home. They're always on the road, um, always on tour, always on performing somewhere. And it's in night, It's essentially they're performing in bars and nightclubs at night. And you know, nothing good happens after 9 p.m. That people are drinking, people are on some gear. You know, there's fucking chuckle fuckers around. And you have to hold down the fort. You have to hold down the fort at home, all by yourself, no help. And then the <laughs> it's just oof, what a life, man. Honestly, they reserve a lot more respect than they do. And they don't that's the thing as well. That, that, that's why I maybe I get triggered when I see the specials from like Bert and stuff. When he's on there on stage, like taking the piss out of the wife and the kids and stuff. It's like, no, the wife, she legitimately allows you to have that lifestyle. You couldn't be an adult uh no, a frat, you know, an, an adult frat boy without having a Leanne Kreischer. Like that is she's an integral part of your success without that woman holding it down and being okay with you being away for days and weeks on end, you can't have the career that you have. So I don't know, man. I don't know. Yeah, Robert, Robert Minnis, I played video games after 9 PM. It's not all bad. They see, yeah, yeah. Look at me, but you know what I mean as well. You know, being in a bar after 9 PM, come on, man. You're not, you're not there preaching. You know, you're not there trying to convert people to like accept Christ in their life and shit. You know what I mean? <laughs> Oh, the haha -ha is not a place to go and find yourself mate it continues um dm that long hair baddie for me 
She's a baddie in call. Cool. Baddie. DM that baddie. Let me know when baddie responds. Death will. Baddie DM back. Baddie DM DM back. To GA baddie. Is that GA? Is that um? Is that Georgia? Is that a code for Georgia or something else? What's that? That's GA, right? Georgia? Is that uh, Georgia, right? Atlanta? Um, that GA baddie responds. Baddie respond? Uh, I thought the GA baddie DM. <laughs> GA baddie must have been really, really hot, right? She must have been super hot, bro. He's first thing over that one. GA baddie never respond. Chia baddie. German baddie respond. Who's that? The, is it, it was Brendan fucking BJL's wife as well? Luke Rockhold and who else? God almighty, mate. Um, she's a baddie. That first one's a baddie. Did did the that baddie DM? Anybody respond? When you get a free moment, when you'd be the <laughs> <laughs> Brendan is relentless, man. He puts, he's a fucking work whore. He's a tyrant. It's BGL's birthday, allegedly. He's out with his wife, allegedly. Having some dinner, allegedly. Chilling out, allegedly. Having a good time, allegedly. And Brendan, allegedly, is reaching out to him to contact a baddie. That's how thirsty he is. Man can't even enjoy his birthday meal. And he's being asked to flip in, act like the middle person of baddie. When you get a free moment from your B-Day, check the baddies for DM. <laughs> no rush. <laughs> no rush. That's the thirstiest comment I've seen in my life, man. Fucking hell, man. I'm having a meal with my wife. Like, can you relax, please? <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> oh my God, Brendan. Brendan is so fucking thirsty. Oh my god, man! Honestly, I don't understand this. Um, is Jessica bad? Okay, cool. That's the end of it. But yeah, all those baddie messages. Um, again, BGL is the worst friend any man could have. Brendan is the dumbest guy in the world for trusting somebody he's only met for I don't know two three years in his inner circle to get up to all the freak shit that he's into he's the worst judge of character that's ever existed in hum in the face of the earth you have to look at his co-host on his flipping shows that he does absolutely garbage and he cannot complain when people come after him because he keeps terrible company terrible company terrible company terrible company absolutely terrible company like oh my god Oh my god, like I, I can't get by how how terrible judge of a character that guy is, man. And now he's trying to go on a moral high horse and try to act like he knew all along. It's like, nah, guys, the guy's a fucking dweeb, an absolute dweeb. Um, and then of course, as I said before, the video from um, what you call it, BGO lifting up the car is racking up the views. It's going viral on every single platform, right? Um, look at this post on here from the fucking. I'm a total piece of shit subreddit, right? So he got 6,789 flipping upvotes. Micro influencer tries to stop his wife from leaving him by deadlifting her car. Whoever did this as a title, you are goaded. <laughs> Micro influencer. <laughs> that's in so insulting tries to stop him from deadlifting a car deadlifting that's horrible that's hor i might have to change my title of my video clip to that to be honest i have to change it to that micro influence <laughs> of course here she is he's in front of my car he's touching my car now he's picking up my car he's attacking me he's picking up my car as you can see, he's picking up my car. He doesn't let me go. He doesn't let me go. Now he hit it. <laughs> he doesn't let me go. He doesn't let me the fuck go. He doesn't let me go. He's attacking me. He's attacking me. He's attacking me. <laughs> he just did this. <laughs> Big up John Valdez. Makes sense now, Addies make you extremely horn. E. Oh. Oh yeah. I've got to mention that. Good point, John Valdez. Someone said that about Addies. So I got allergies in my I'm doing that thing. If you've got allergies, you know I'm talking about allergy tablets. I, I do that thing when you scratch your neck. 
Oh, I've got to take my Angie tablets. But yeah, for those of you, those of you who know, um, so I've read online that Addis make you horny, of course, and I've also read online that allegedly um, steroids, uh, steroids have that thing. They make you like aggressive and aggro. So maybe because he's on, what's it called? Is it Trent or something? I forgot what the, what the thing is called that you use if you're bodybuilding. But whatever you use, that makes you kind of, um, that makes you really short-tempered or whatever it may be. Like you, you get highly strong. Is that is that true? Oh, and there's a fight. Yeah, sorry. There's a, there's a part two of the fight. You want to see part two? No. Please I, forgive me. Ooh, see a bit of man tit there? A little bit of man tit. I will never forgive see. you. Forgive you. Forgive you for what? Telling the truth? No, please don't. No, forget. Oh, 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 you fucking hit me in the chair. I don't know why this is news. Personally, I don't want. I don't know why this is news. This is just like these people are just terrible for each other, man. Clearly, toxicity on both sides of the aisle. Um, and yeah, man. Yeah, I'm. I don't know. I think I'm good on this one. I'm not gonna lie. I think I'm good. I think I'm good on that one. I think I'm good on that one. I'm not gonna lie. I think I'm good. I think I'm good. I just pray for peace. <laughs> I pray for peace. I think I'm good on that one. <laughs> I pray for peace. I saw, you know, fucking BGL smug face on there. You know, I, I pray for peace, man. I pray for peace. I can't do it. I cannot do it. And then the worst thing of all, like I said before, the worst thing of all for me personally, the worst thing, right? The worst thing of all in this situation is this. This is one of the most popular. I think it got deleted after a while. It got deleted. I think whoever posted deleted their account. But it's been posted on the, the public subreddit, the public freakout subreddit. It's one of the most popular subreddits on there. And it's got over 4,600 upset, four, over 4,000 um, up, upvotes. And the title is as follows. Actor and Brendan Shaw podcast co-host deadlifts and kicks wife's car. Brendan is such a terrible judge of character. He's not even involved in this. This is none of his business. He didn't do any of this. He's not there beating the Mexican. You might be cheating on her, but he's not beating up on her. Yet because he's such a bad judge of character the smut and the flipping you know the dark cloud that hangs over bgl is now being extended to over to brendan because he doesn't know how to you know fucking you know tell the weirdos from the good guys that's that that's basically his comeuppance now he's being inserted into this drama that has nothing to do with him just because he can't judge who's a good guy and who isn't Brendan Shaw podcast co-host. <laughs> it's like he publicly fired him before all this came out. He was never a co-host. He was only associated with him because he was a social media manager or whatever. And just to help, you know, in terms of being around and unofficial security. But because of just being a... Because Brendan can't call people out and shit, can't see who the weirdos are, he gets lumped into it as well. Horrible. Horrible, 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 horrible.